So now I want to permanently remove this device or the, maybe the printer completely from the system. So I wanted to move from available to completely remove, maybe predefined, completely remove. For that I will say remove M minus DL. This will completely remove the drivers, everything, right? So that uh, when I connect next time, it may not work, right? So all this information, CUDV, uh, PDDV, all those information are in the ODM, okay? So when I add a device, the drivers are loaded from the ODM, right? And the device starts working and will be available for you, right? And the device will be updating, the device information will be updated uh, while it is done, the device information will be updated in a file. At the same time, it will be updating the dev directory. Whenever a device is added, it should update the dev directory. <coughs> in the dev directory, it will create a character-based device, okay? And also, it will create a block device. Raw device and a block device. I showed you in the last lesson when you go to dev and ls minus l, I saw c and d in the first character. So, character devices and block devices. Okay? And also, you will see two numbers, maybe a number 14, and then you see a number 2. Or you may see a number 20, you may see 5. The first number is called major number, and the second number is called that is like an instance, how many times it has occurred. If I have put a major number is the driver, right? Software, software application identify the driver by this major number, right? So major number 14, we assume something, right? So in that particular uh, class, we have uh, two, two devices attached. Maybe hard, hard disk, we assume hard disk is 14. So how many hard disks are attached? So this is third hard disk. First one is zero, second one is one, Third one is two, like that, right? So major number, minor number. So that information also will be coming from the ODM when the drivers are loaded, right? So how will I change a device from predefined state to available state? Tell me. I will type CFGMGR. Right? Or I will type make dev minus L. L means what? Log. Logical name. Yeah. Logical device. Okay. So if I want to make a device from the available state to predefined state, what should I do? Remove. Remove dev. Minus, Minus L. L. L is logical, right? Yeah. Logically. Okay. If I want to completely remove from the predefined defined state, minus DL. Minus DL. Minus DL. Okay. Mm -hmm. Simple, right? It will, make, it will become simpler when I will go through the slides on the lab, right? What are the three types of repositories? Three depositors in uh, ODM? ETC OBG repos. ETC OBG repos. And then? User library OBG repos. User library OBG repos. And, and then the? User share. User share OBG, OBG, OBG repos. If you can remember those three repositories, it's good. Otherwise, you have it in a piece of paper. It's fine, right? Which one will have information related to uh, uh, the, 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 I mean, which one can be shared among machines in the network? Doesn't matter of the architecture? Share. User share. Yeah. Share. User share, because shares, right? Which has information which is local, always local to the machine? <coughs> it is OBJ. OBJ, because that information is in the root, right? Mm. So it cannot be shared, right? How will, you, how will I delete an object class? 
ODM ODM drop ODM drop the, the commands used for these are different I can use ODM drop for this I can't use ODM drop for this here ODM delete right object class you can say ODM drop for this one we'll say ODM delete okay So don't use the command delete, okay? But use the other commands and play with that. We have given some examples in your notes, right? Play with that, but don't use delete. Okay? <laughs> we already have three Linux machines to be installed. One day you have installed. Both all of your three Linux machines have a problem. Have problems, sorry. So you either troubleshoot the problem or install whatever you can do, right? So now we will do this in the system, okay? No, so, I mean, my point is like uh, a small corruption in the uh, database will cause the whole system to be crashed, you know? Yes, but it... Okay. So we were talking about system management tool, system management interface tool, right? I said normally, usually you have to do it manually if you want to make changes. It is a profile, it is a country, it is all those files, right? And also you have to, when you're backing up, when you're checking the error report, error report or not, you have to use commands, right? Individually, so they are not in one place. So you have to remember a lot of commands. And also when you remember the commands, sometimes the options you have to remember. So there are some problems in, in the A, so there are a lot of options, right? So the menu, Smith menu, has all the, almost a lot of options you saw, right? When you are creating a user, you saw a lot of things, not like other operating system. So if you want to use all the options, you can still use most of the options, right? So it's a well-defined uh, uh, interface, not available in any other operating system, okay? In the case of Sun, so instead of Solaris, uh, it has SMC, but it's not equal to this because SMC needs graphical interface. But this can run in graphical and non-graphical also, right? And also in the case of uh, HP Unix, we have SAM, we had SAM, and later we have some other browser-based uh, tools. But in the case of SAM, SAM is not, uh, that menu is not that nice looking like this in, in non-graphical interface, right? So this has a very good option, right? And also we have shortcut to go to one particular menu item, right? that you know how to do. By pressing what key, we can find the shortcut. By pressing what key? What key? F8, I just told you. F8, right? By pressing Minimized, right? So that uh, in the case of you are using a command, you have to go to man page, find out what options uh, I can apply for this purpose. But here everything is there, right? Unlike any other graphical utility where I, when you click something, you have to, whatever it gives, you have to take, right? But here it's not like that. We can go into details. So that's the beauty here, right? And it's reliable and good, good for productivity because people do things very fast, right? Uh, provide remote system management solutions, right? We can manage remote systems also, right? And there are many tools apart from Smith. We have Smith web-based system manager, systems director. Just go to Google when you have time. Just find out a little about these tools, right? These two tools. Just find out what is systems director, what is web-based systems manager, right? In your program, this program, uh, we, we don't cover that, right? And we, we can use high level commands, low level commands, intermediate code level commands in, in Smith for these activities. To open a file, to, open, to, to do something in object data manager, to, to start a service, stop a service, restart a service, and we can configure kernel services, we can monitor system calls and all, right?
Yeah, either say Smith or Smithy, both will work in non-graphical, but uh, Smithy is the one which works in graphical, right? Smithy. Right? So Smithy is for graphical interface, we go to the system or emulate graphic in your, in your terminal. If you emulate graphics, you can run Smithy and you get everything in a graphical format, right? Uh, and whenever you log in as a user and use Smith, you, you, are, you have, uh, you will be, there will be two files created. One is a log file, other one is a script file. Log file will have uh, information of uh, what happened in the system, like logs, right? The script will have all the commands you typed, right? And details of those commands, like the language. Uh, so if five people are using this is Smithy, so five different log files will be created? Or in, one their log file? Huh? in their home directory. In their home directory. Oh, the whole internet. Yeah. Okay. 